thank you for taking time to come to our Imagine Foundations at Morningside Media Center opening. We're so excited to be able to share this moment with you all. Um, just wanted to, again, just thank you all for coming. It is so good to see our scholars here, to see our staff members, our families, members from our Imagine Schools Regional Office, as well as our mayor of Morningside here and our board members as well. Thank you all for taking time to join us for this very special occasion. Um, I wanted to, to take a moment just to share a little bit of the history of Imagine Foundations at Morningside and why this uh, experience is so meaningful to us. So Imagine Foundations at Morningside, also known as Imagine Foundations II, was founded in 2011. And we were founded after the model of Imagine Foundations I, which is located in Upper Marlboro. The school philosophy and the purpose behind the school was to offer a choice for parents in our community. And we do that through our Imagine Schools mantra of developing character as well as enriching minds. And when you think about Imagine Foundations, the goal there was to ensure that there was an academy, a kindergarten through eighth grade opportunity within our community that prepared our scholars through rigorous instruction as well as character development. And so that is how we became to be Imagine Foundations too. And because we are located in the wonderful historic community of Imagine Morningside, we have taken that on as part of our name and our identity. Imagine Foundations actually long before COVID and long before the um, ubiquitous of the um, online instruction, we were a one-to-one -one campus. So long time before that became the mandate or the norm, here at Imagine Foundations at Morningside, our students were using Chromebooks, using technology in a way to advance instruction. Additionally, uh, here at Imagine Foundations at Morningside, we were one of the first campuses to be able to offer world language from kindergarten through eighth grade. And so when we think about this moment being able to open up a media center here, it really is in the tradition of wanting to offer our students a space and a place to be creative, to think, to collaborate, to be able to come together and solve problems. So our media center has a very purposeful design. We have um, spaces for our students to be able to do research as well as to check out books that they can read for pleasure, as well as some other literature and um, other types of reading informational texts and things like that, so that our students can, again, have a space and a place to learn, to think, to dream, and be able to solve problems. This space actually came together through two years of collaboration, and it began a lot with our Rise Up meetings. And so as part of an Imagine School and being a charter, we have to go through a renewal process. And in going through the renewal process, we had members from our Imagine Schools National Office who would come to our school, take a look to see what's happening in our building, and look for ways for us to improve. And one of the ways that they felt that we could improve is that we could bring back reading for pleasure. So we've looked at lots of research where they show that oftentimes children are not reading for pleasure at a rate where they used to. They're you know, on the computer or they're doing other things that kind of distract them from being able to go to get a physical book from a library and enjoy the pleasure of turning the pages, reading, exploring, and being able to visit someplace else within their imagination. And so as a result of that, through collaboration with our teachers, members of our national office, a big, huge champion for this work was Karen Gale, who is our national director of curriculum and instruction for Imagine Schools, in collaboration with our regional office and our facilities people. We are so excited and happy to be able to unveil our media center, which we know will be a space and a place for our children and our families to enjoy for many, many years to come. Um, so I know that we do have a few guests that I wanted to come up and give them an opportunity to speak. Um, I wanted to um, 
mention Mayor Ken. He's the mayor of Morningside, so I wanted him to give him an opportunity to speak, followed by any members of our board or our Imagine Schools office who would also like to speak. So I would like to give you an opportunity to come up and do that. So, and then after that, we'll move forward with our ribbon cutting. Well, I won't be before you long. Um, I am Mayor Cam for the town of Morningside. I've had the pleasure of coming to speak with you on several occasions. Uh, one such occasion uh, was swearing in of students for your student government. Um, I was also a substitute teacher for a little time, and I've actually been in the school and taught here um, in 2017 and 2018 as a substitute. I went on to be a full-time teacher at another school's sixth, seventh, and eighth grade history. So I say all that to say, I appreciate the opportunities that are given to our schools, specifically Imagine Morningside. So I'm just excited to be here and participate in such a great milestone. Uh, Media Center is gonna be great, not just for uh, the beginning and the introduction of a lot of new information to our students, but also it's gonna be a great uh, lifelong, you know, hopefully purpose as it relates to what is really out there to explore when it comes to opportunities, when it comes to career paths, when it comes to just general information that you may not necessarily have available to you. So again, I am coming on behalf of the town of Morningside. I bring greetings from not just myself, Mayor Cam, but I have an entire council and staff that is behind me to do what we do. And we are here to continually support and be here as you grow and develop into uh, great scholars as well as a great institution for the, the community. So thank you for having me.